To apply speed to a video, select the video to perform speed ramping, etc., and click the speed tool. From here you can fast the video speed by default. For example I increase the speed of this video by 2x. So you can see that we have 2x the speed of this video, but here we don't have video smooth playback. So for that we have to render this video. For this click on the render button. So you can see that the video is now playing smoothly. You can also adjust the speed by clicking the down arrow icon above the video. From here you can also adjust the speed of the video. If you want to slow it down, select an option under slow. But I want to reset the video to its normal speed, so for that I click on the normal option. Apart from this you can also adjust the normal speed in a customized way. For this click on the speed tool, then click on the uniform speed option. From here you can easily increase or decrease the speed level. This option is also great for those who like to adjust the speed in a customized way. Click this reset button to reset the speed, the speed of the video will be reset. In addition, you can see the speed ramping on the right side of the uniform speed section inside the speed tool. Click on it for speed ramping. Here you will find ready speed ramping effect. For example, you can see in the first line that there are some speed ramping effects, among them montage, hero moment, bullet time, jumper, flash and etc effects, which are cool effects. It's very easy to use, after selecting a video, click on any speed ramping effect, and the speed ramping effect will be applied to your video. As you can see it's preview as well. To reset the speed ramping effects, click the none button to the left of the effects, and your effect will be removed from the video. In addition, you can create your own speed ramping effects. Click on customize for that, and customize the speed ramping effect with these speed ramping keyframes. You must have felt how good and interesting this customization of speed ramping is. Okay. Now let me show you how to reverse video. For this I drag and drop another video onto the timeline. Select the video and click on the speed tool. After clicking on the speed tool, click on the reverse option at the bottom. So you can see that we have reversed this video. It's done. Now we know how to do color correction, and how to do color matching. Select the video and click the color tool. After clicking on the color tool, we are given two options, one is color correction and the other is color match. So first I click color correction. The advanced color correction window will open, and you will see two options, adjust and preset. So first I apply the preset to the video. Choose the preset you would like to use or customize your own one. After applying the presets, I make color adjustments. For this click on adjust tab above. Just switch to color tab. You can adjust the white balance, temperature, tint, contrast, saturation, and brightness, and apply 3D LUT directly and quickly in this edit panel. Okay. Next, I color match. For this I drag and drop another video onto the timeline. I color match these two videos. The color of the video you want to change by matching it to any color, put this video in the end and put the video from which you want to color reference in the start of the timeline. Now click on the video color you want to match and click on color tool. Click on the color match option in these two options. So you will have a windows look something like this. Here on the display screen you will see both the videos. We will take reference from the first video. And the color of the second video will be matched with the reference video. So for that I click on the match button below the reference video on the display screen. So you can see that we matched another video color with the reference video in one click. Okay. So you have seen the magic of color matching, how much the color of the video has improved. Unbelievable. You can see that we have another video at the end of the timeline. 
To close the gap between the video, many people drag the video like this to close the gap. But maybe they don't know that there is a better way. It's very easy, right click on the gap between the video. Click ripple delete, the gap will close. Or right click and click close gap. Or select both videos, and press the shortcut alt delete from the keyboard. The gap will close. After doing this, now I show you how you can remove the background in Filmora. So for that I have a green screen video in the media. Drag and drop this video on the timeline. After dragging and dropping the video onto the timeline, select the video, and click the green screen tool. We need to further adjust the chroma key to remove the background of the video. But before that I drag and drop a video into the background of this video. So you can see that we drag and drop a background video onto the timeline. But on the display screen you see that the background of the video is not properly removed. To fix it, select the video and click on the green screen tool. Select the picker tool and click on the green screen area of the video on the display screen. Now you can see that the background of the video is properly removed. And the background now shows clear. You can adjust offset, tolerance, edge thickness, edge feather etc. within chroma key to make it better. Okay, 